Hi guys, it's George from Cyprus Insight and today it's New Year's Eve and lots of businesses invite customers to their shops for a lunchtime barbecue and we're at the famous Andrews Bazaar there we are there's Andrews Bazaar over there and we've been invited to their barbecue so we're going to go there now and we're at Fenneros and we'll have a look around Fenneros if it's not too windy on the way back so here we are Olivia as I said in Fenneros and we'll have a look around Fenneros later all right let's walk up to Andrew's Petra Bazaar where there's lots and lots of goodies there's new and second-hand stuff so this is Nick hi Nick he works at the Petra Bazaar and he's doing some cooking aren't you Nick yes. what are you cooking Nick these are garlic sausages pasta mice garlic sausages traditional Cypriot sausages aren't they yeah indeed what else you got Nick that's pork on there pork and is that souvlaki no that's souvla souvla and what's the difference between souvla well, and souvlaki you explain that George I'm okay sure you know the right so this is souvla guys that means it's big bits of meat and souvlaki is the little bits of meat that you can put in a kebab so these are just big chunks okay and it looks like he's got a couple going well there was there was some lamb as well taken off oh he has cooked some lamb which he's taken off and is ready fantastic well let's go and have a look around Pe andrew's petra bazaar and we can see what she's got as i said there's lots of goodies in andrew's petra bazaar there's new and used furniture and bits and pieces so let's go and see what she's got she's actually selling uh, loo paper at the moment well, I've never seen that and of course look all sorts of Christmas stuff and gift cards at the moment it's all Christmas gift cards but I think she does birthday cards etc looks like you can get some frills look they're all brand new and some used furniture over there some settees that's a nice one look leather settee there okay and uh, you can get some new and used clothes there we are oh we've even got perfume buy one get one free there's a used clothes department and some of them are new great for recycling guys why throw it away if it's virtually brand new there we are there's even a wetsuit there for swimming and uh, over this side she's got uh, some beds for sale new and used mattresses and all sorts of stuff there's games and videos and there's another worker over there he's just going to the toilet he does deliveries a young man there oh we've even got some garden ornaments look at this guys and they great look the turtles they're 25 euros the big ones got little cats and the little ones are just 10 euros what a great deal and <laughs> there's andre over there in a christmas dress <laughs> right so that was a delish barbecue at andre's petra bazaar guys um, by the time we finished it started pouring down with rain unfortunately so we're finishing off today our little video of Fenneros 
and it's the 6th of January Christmas decorations are still up there we are and it's a nice little village we've got a brand new bakery in the centre of the village here it is here on my right and what I do is I'll work my way past the bakery and I'd like to show you this lovely restored house so this is the main road that ziggles round there yeah, and it goes to Leo Bedry or the highway and then down to Dorinia quite a busy little ziggity little road right so the new bakery's got a lovely seating area and a coffee shop attached to it this is a beautiful old house had been restored some time ago and the owners keep it well maintained guys it's often painted and i've noticed that this year they've put a brand new balcony at the top can you see it that's all made of mahogany there it is and they've left the original old brackets there the old stone brackets and if we go round we'll, what we'll do we'll go round this little road on the side of this beautiful house and do a circular walk round the town so let me show you their garden look at that isn't it lovely there we are Looks like they've got a fountain in the middle and a bit of artwork. And we'll, we'll go around and see if we can catch a glimpse of the back garden or courtyard. Look, all surrounded with beautiful mature olive trees. So there we are. And there's the couple there. There we go. I'll carry on. Right, so there's the little road on the back street. This is a lovely little quiet back street, isn't it, guys? There's the main road. And we're just at the back here. I'm amazed how quiet it is just a few yards away from the main road. And there's a lovely old house here, partly restored, guys. You can see. There it is. You see, you've got the arches, traditional doors, and the courtyard. It's even got the traditional Cypriot oven. You've done a lovely job there. So, what we'll do, we'll go right back out to the main road the jiggly little road that runs through Fenneros and that's got the little shops on bakery on it just outside here okay right so what I do is I'll do a right uh, sorry a left I'll go left guys around this building which looks like little shops that have shut down is that a post office ah oh, post office a big car park area okay and then uh, 
or go around this way. I think I'm lost. Oh dear. Oh, here we are. I'm trying to get to the high street. It's down there. There's a little back street cafe there. Look at that, guys. Oh, there's an entrance lock in this car park area. to this old abandoned shop here and then behind the abandoned shop is the new bakery right so back out to the little hickety bickety road and you've got to be careful here there's not a pavement and the cars go zooming around this little corner Look, no pavements. There's a few cafes, one across the road, and uh, a lovely snack bar, yeah, and another cafe at the back, guys. And we'll carry on. Can you see there's no pavement, and this road sort of swings round? There's a pavement across the road. There, can you see guys and we'll walk there where that car's just driven there we are okay now at the end of this little hickety bickety road is this lovely house there we are what a lovely house guys it's a shame it's right on this busy road isn't it but it's a lovely house there it is. Hello. I'll video it. Have a look around. I don't think it's for sale, guys, but uh, it has been painted at the front to give a lovely facade for the town square. It's not very deep, so let's go around the back and have a look. It's uh, made of stone and then rendered. Oh look, oh look at the courtyard at the back, Let's see if we can find, so here we are, we'll go around the back, this might have been an old Turkish house and then abandoned, can you see, isn't it lovely at the back, there it is, and then it's got lots of little outbuildings here you see these outbuildings courtyard looks like it's still got some tables and chairs in the back inside you can't get that it's all locked up guys around the other side let's have a look there's the outbuildings out there anyway we'll go and have a look shall we lovely pillars there's the front door Ah, there's the side gate, look. It's all bolted up. We'll go around the back. Right, these are the outbuildings. Here we are. Can you see? Let's have a look in here. Looks like a, an old shed in the side of this house. There's the outbuildings here. Can you see them? 
I'll put the camera over there. There we are, and it's all locked up. Let's go. There we are. There's this courtyard again, and these are the outbuildings. And it's got a looks like a roof veranda. Whatever's left of it. Yes, lovely house. Would be very noisy though, right on the main road. So just up there guys is a little butcher shop. We have been told it's a really lovely butcher shop, really good to meet. There's the war memorial. Right now we're at the back of Fenderos, guys. There's lots of car parking areas around here, isn't there? Lots of car parking areas. Insurance broker there, working from home. There's the main road on my right, with a cafe. And I'm going towards the church. In this back street. Again, it's a little bit hickle tiki pickle tea with houses scattered here and there. Oh, this is interesting guys. Looks like we've got uh, the new main church. I say new, it looks like it's about 30 odd years old, maybe 40 years old. And then the original little chapel on the right. Little church on the right. Now let's go down into the little church. I don't think it's open. But we'll go that way and uh, look at this little door. Right, let's go towards the little door. You can see that the original entrance is here. Can you see that? And for some reason or another, it's been bricked up with stone. And then another entrance being put there. Much smaller door. You see, there's the original entrance and the little door. And you step into the church. It's closed at the moment. Let's go around the back and see what else we can find. There's the new church, or newish church, side of the old chapel. Can we take a peep inside? Only just. Let's go round. Yeah. Beautiful old stone church. Lovely bell tower there. Looks like it's been restored at one time or another. And again, a little doors. Where's, oh, that's leading to the bell tower. So you can ring the bell. Can you see it? There's the bell and the rope. Let's go inside. There we are, inside. There, you can see the bell right at the top. See it? And the rope to pull the bell. Let's get out. Okay, and shut the door. And walk round. Okay. Now this entrance has been left original there. And we've got a date, 1897. There we are. Got another entrance that's blocked up 
and yet another entrance you can just about see it can you see there bricked up right so here's the new church or newish church there it is big car park area right guys although that had the date on it 1897 do believe remember the original little church there was built in the 12th century guys i thought it looked really old and the new church was built in 1969 right just outside the church of friend ross has a ball telling us all about the church and the new and old one here we are And then there is a museum here, just behind, it's over there guys, it's close today. So Fender Ross is well known for its watermelons and it has a watermelon festival every July. Other villages also have their own festivals and their own vegetables or fruit like Leo Bedry it has its festival for carrots and Darinya has a festival for strawberries so I hope you enjoyed that little trip to Fenneros Wendy and our other viewers don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below